Hi, Robert Anthony here for Audio Tuts Plus. Logic Pro 10 is here, and we're having a look at the great new features and enhancements. With this latest release of Logic Pro, Apple has also released a new iPad app called Logic Remote. You can get Logic Remote free from the iTunes Store on your Mac or through the Apple App Store on your iPad. I have a Logic Pro 10 project open on my iMac. I'll launch the Logic Remote app on my iPad, and the app will ask me to connect to the computer running Logic Pro 10. I'll select my iMac from the list, and Logic Pro 10 will ask your permission to allow the iPad to connect. Click OK, and now Logic Remote is connected to Logic Pro on my Mac. Logic Remote is honestly very self-explanatory and user-friendly. You have the transport controls at the top, and the initial view of Logic Remote is the Logic Pro 10 mixer. I have a virtual instrument channel strip selected, and I can access the Logic Pro 10 library and load a preset instrument channel strip. You can switch between the different user interfaces by pressing the menu dropdown here in the upper left hand corner. You can control the smart controls of a selected channel strip as well as use the touch controls to play the virtual instrument. If you've used GarageBand for iPad, you'll be happy to see that the smart instruments have made their way to Logic Pro 10. If you're new to Logic Pro, there are two very helpful features in the Logic Remote iPad app. You have a key commands window that will give you quick access to many useful keyboard shortcuts and menu options. There is also a smart help page that will dynamically show you the Logic Pro 10 user manual for whatever you have the mouse cursor hovering over. Logic Remote for iPad is a great way to incorporate your iPad into your studio workflow. And if you are upgrading from GarageBand on iPad, Logic Remote will make the transition almost seamless. This is Robert Anthony for Audio Tuts Plus, showing you the new Logic Remote iPad app that has been released alongside Logic Pro 10. Thanks for watching.